So good day everyone, my name is Errol J. E. Dinorio and I'm going to be your practice teacher under Professor Gerlings Balonis class, okay? So your subject is all about reading comprehension and in this week, we're going to tackle about summarizing, okay? So I guess many of you here already know how to write a summary. So it is one of the basic fundamental of writing and it is a very important skill for a student especially for those students who are under the Bachelor of Science in Education and any literature-related course, okay? So for our first slide, we have here the definition of summary. So what is summarizing? Summarizing is finding the key ideas and supporting details to get the gist of a piece of writing. The gist there is actually referring to the substance or the essence of the text, okay? Also, skilled readers distill what is important. This still means to purify, it's actually extracting the essence of the text. So you only need the important part of the text in order for us to understand the text, in order for us to summarize the text, okay? Next, we have here based on the purpose of reading. After we are going to distill the important part of the text, we're going to identify the purpose of the text or the purpose of reading in order for us to comprehend or to understand and the last step is we have to recall the text so in recalling the text in your previous lesson uh, we're going to apply sequencing so we're going to recall the text by the use of the sequencing method so sequencing methods uh, consist of beginning um, middle and the end so we're going to write the beginning of the text the middle of the text and also the end of the text the introduction, the body, and the conclusion of the text, okay? So those are the ideas and definition of summarizing or summary, okay? So let's move on to the purpose of the summary. Purpose of summarizing. Summarizing means identifying the main idea and the most important facts. Then, writing a brief overview that includes only those key ideas and details. Summarizing is a vital skill for a student to learn, but many students find it difficult to pick out the important facts without providing too much details. Why? Do you know why students find it difficult to write a summary? Okay. Do you know why? It is because students hate writing, especially essay. Um, some students actually hate um, writing. They don't actually understand how important writing is. So. Writing is very important skill in students. So whatever your course are, whatever um, field you are expert with, always remember that writing is always part of your life, especially summarizing, especially in your thesis. So it is a very important skill. Okay? So now let's move on and different keys of summary. So we have here the five keys in summarizing. The first one, use summaries to communicate the main points of a text okay so we're talking about the g's or the essence of the piece of writing they're going to use it in summary because this is actually connected of each part of the text the summaries are actually connected to communication in order for us to understand the summary of a text we're going to relate every important text in order for us to communicate from the readers and from the writer okay so second use your own words why because if you are if you are doing a copy paste method you're not actually doing a summary you're actually doing a plagiarism it is a very important um, key in writing a summary you're going to use your own words you're going to be a unique one okay so next slide, um, aside from those um, keys, we also have here, keep it short and write objectively. Of course, um, summary is actually, the length of summary is actually important. It actually depends on how you're going to write the summary and the origin, from the original text, okay? So keeping it short is better than having it long. Why? Because the longer the text is, the more mistakes you commit, okay? So writing, write the text objectively. Uh, write the summary objectively. It is very important to write um, to write the summary objectively. Why? 
because you need to be accurate you need to be objectively writing the text that actually reflects the author's styles and message the main idea or the essence of the writing if you're not doing or doing it objectively you're going to commit more mistakes and we're not doing the summary you're doing um i don't know if you're going to use your opinions or what this is not actually a summarizing okay so next for our last key we have the document the publishing information for later reference okay so this um this key is actually important if you're doing a thesis or any uh, research studies because you are going to cite the research um, article uh, the authors and uh, any um, publishing information about your study okay about the study okay so in order for you to learn more about the summary um, i'm going to discuss about the strategies the different strategies of summarizing i only have three strategies but it is actually a very helpful one okay so first we have here the somebody wanted but so then second we have the s a a c method and the five w's and one h okay so first strategy we have the somebody wanted but so then so every word of this strategy is actually equivalent to a purpose the purpose of a word okay so first somebody who is the story about one that what does the main charter want but identify a problem that the main character encountered so how does the main character solve the problem then tell how the story ends somebody want the pet student strategy is actually good uh, actually um in use in story you're, uh, if you're going to summarize a story somebody wanted that so then strategy is a very helpful one okay so i have here the example of the first strategy somebody somebody referring to the, the story or what is the story or what is the story or the title of the story so little red riding hood and then wanted next we have here the wanted what does the main charter wants is the main story wants so she wanted to take cookies to her sick grandmother then we have the but but is actually referring to the conflict of the story so she encountered a wolf pretending to be her grandmother and so so is actually referring to the after the falling action of the plot of the story um, it is actually near from the resolution or the conclusion of the story so she ran away crying for help and then at the end of the story then a woodsman heard her and saved her from the wolf okay so it is very simple strategy that you can use in summarizing a story so please observe your screen uh, please observe if you see um, the definition of summary in your screen okay so as we are uh, as you remember about the definition of the summary we're talking about uh, the main idea or the important facts of the story so it is actually um, implemented in this example okay so the example here has the main idea or the facts the important facts or the gist of the piece of writing and then um, the purpose of the reading the purpose of the story the story is actually uh, talking about the the little red riding hood okay and then understand need to comprehend the story um, by the use of this strategy strategy uh, we understand we understood and comprehend the story okay and then retell the story or recall the story so the use of the somebody wanted but so then is actually consists of the body um, introduction and the end or the conclusion of the story okay so second strategy so we have the saac method so saac method is actually referring to the state assign action and complete okay so state is referring to the, the name of the article book or story 
assign is referring to the name of the author and action was referring to the author doing example tells or explain okay so the end complete complete the sentence or the summary with keywords and important detail so I have here an example of SAAC method so as you can see at the screen the state state there is referring to the referring to the title I don't know if it is a book or a story so the boy who cried wolf uh, it is a story story okay so assigned assigned is the name of the author Aesop a Greek a Greek storyteller and action was the author doings okay so the author tells okay um, complete what happens when a shepherd boy repeatedly lies to the villagers about seeing a wolf that is actually referring to the summary and uh, it is actually the keywords of the the story it is the important details and for our last strategy we have the five w's and one h so it is actually uh, means who what when where why and how so who is the story about what did they do when did the action take place where did the story happen where did the main character do what she or he did and how did the main character do what or she he did okay so here is the example of our third strategy so who who is the story about the tortoise it's actually referring to the tortoise story the story is all about the tortoise so what what did they do he raised a quick boastful hair and one okay so when the time the setting when isn't specific in this story so it's not important in this case when isn't specific in the story meaning if the uh, once a story or a text doesn't have a setting or there is no specific time you not you're, you will not going to write it okay so where so location or the area of the story or a text okay where an old country road so you need to identify that one it's so very important so why so why did the main character do what she he or did uh, she or he she did did anyway how so the tortoise was tired of hearing the hair and boasts about his speed okay so next last how did the main character do what she or he did okay the tortoise um, the tortoise kept up his slow but steady pace okay. uh, this is the last sample of strategies um, for our last page uh, before we're going to end this lesson going to talk about the process of summarizing so we're going to recall the process um, process of summarizing pull out the main idea focus on the key details about the idea write down just enough to tell about what you read and use keywords or phrases okay understand so uh, this is the end of the lesson and uh, hopefully you learn a lot of things in my lessons and thank you for listening and have a great day.